important to know how intense a seemingly loud sound actually is in order to understand your risk of hearing damage. Let's get a better understanding of sound pressure level and how we can measure it. In this video, we're going to show you what an SPL meter is and how you can use it to measure the intensity of a sound source. SPL stands for sound pressure level. A sound source's intensity is measured by the amount of pressure placed on air molecules when they are disturbed to produce sound. This is exactly what an SPL meter measures, hence its name. It measures intensity through a process called transduction, which you can learn more about in one of our other videos. The simplest way to measure the intensity of sound in a room is to use some kind of sine wave generator. We use a program called MaxMSP to generate a sine wave, but Pro Tools and Logic also have signal generator or test oscillator plugins, respectively, that do the same thing. Make sure the sound is coming out of only one speaker. Try using a sine wave with a frequency of 1000 Hz to start with. Begin by standing in front of the speaker with the SPL meter pointing directly at it. Make sure the SPL meter is on A weighting and fast response. Then turn the range dial to somewhere besides the off position. Play the tone out of the speaker. The needle on the SPL meter may move. Turn the range dial until the needle falls somewhere in the middle of the display range. The range setting determines the meter's decibel range. For example, if the dial is on 70, then a reading of 0 on the meter would be exactly 70 decibels. A reading of 5 would be 75 decibels, and a reading of negative 5 would be 65 decibels. Keeping track of 100 plus values on the meter display would be way too confusing, so this dial lets you narrow down the decibel range before determining a more specific value. The response switch on the SPL meter determines how quickly the needle reacts to changes in sound intensity. Try switching it to slow response and then snapping your fingers in front of the meter. The needle should now respond more slowly than it did when it was on fast response. The weighting setting on the SPL meter determines how the intensity of different frequencies is measured. If you play a lower frequency, try 500 Hz, and switch over to C weighting, you'll see that it yields a much higher value than it would have on A weighting. This is because C weighting assigns higher values to lower frequencies than A weighting does, which is good if you're testing low or sub-audio frequencies. Your SPL meter may also have a marking on the range dial called BAT or battery. If you switch to this, it'll show you how much battery you have left in the SPL meter. For more information on anything in this video, check out the links on this page. 